Okay, the first of these arguments that I'm going to do is the cosmological argument, which is probably considered the strongest argument for the existence of God, and is probably the one of the most thought out of the arguments. Okay, the basic argument goes uh, like this. Everything in the universe has to have a cause. These causes, uh, everything is caused one after the other. This, there is a chain of events. Each cause causes the next thing, the next thing, the next thing, the next thing. These causes can be followed back to the beginning of time. And they say that the, also the, inf the infinite regress, which means infinity, is impossible. So they're saying that these chain events goes right back to the beginning of the universe. The beginning of the universe is also the beginning of time, in their opinion. <coughs> With these chain of causes, there must be, therefore, if everything has a cause, there must be a first cause to have created the continued argument. This argument says that therefore, if there must be a first cause, this first cause is God, and if the God has a necessary existence, then he could freely choose to create the beginning of this series of causes. And that is the simplified version of the basic cosmological argument. I'm going to look at two of the major people who look at the cosmological argument, and this is St. Thomas Aquinas, or the fat man, as I prefer to call him, as it's easier to remember, and uh, the Kalam argument, which has several different people who have rewritten and tried to explain this argument. So I'm going to look at both of those.